you know, I want to take a little bit of time to really speak to this and discuss the city of Marysville response that we had to this pandemic that's changed and really affected all of our lives throughout 2020 and now into 2021. Um, you know, we moved quickly with internal decisions in early to mid-March of 2020 to keep our workforce safe while also ensuring that we provided all of the essential services of your local government. There was not a workday that COVID did not impact something that we do. Uh, and I know it was the same for all of you as well. You experienced the same thing. I want you all to know that we have worked hard to adapt and to continue to provide a high level of government services to all our residents and businesses, despite the uh, complications of this past year. The decisions regarding uh, these COVID restrictions on businesses and individuals were made primarily at the state and federal level, as, as you probably know. These decisions override any local jurisdiction. We set out though from the beginning and we continue to this day to do all we can as your local city government to both keep our community safe while also helping those individuals and businesses who have suffered so greatly with economic losses through the most difficult of times. I also want you to know that I have personally advocated on your behalf and will continue to on a weekly basis with the Snohomish Health District officials, a multitude of other officials, including state and federal. I've helped to lead efforts by elected leaders throughout Snohomish County to advocate for the needs that are specific to our communities here. Additionally, I've had the opportunity to speak through a variety of local and regional media outlets to make our case uh, for, for, for community needs. My focus in these and in many other efforts has always been on keeping our community safe while also advocating for our residents and businesses who have suffered so much economically due to the state enforced COVID shutdowns and restrictions. I am particularly concerned, I will say, and have advocated for our local small businesses and their employees. I have yet to see data that shows that our local small business community has inordinately contributed to the various spikes in cases that have occurred at different times throughout this pandemic, yet they are absolutely bearing the brunt of the economic burden of these shutdowns. There's no question about that. I trust and have personally witnessed how our local business owners have taken great care when allowed to be open to provide for the safety of both their employees and their customers. Um, therefore, I'll continue to push the governor's office and state officials to allow our small businesses to safely reopen while they still may have time to uh, salvage their businesses and salvage the livelihoods and the jobs of those that they employ. Uh, I also want you to know that your city council has been steadfast in this support as well, utilizing the various avenues available to them individually and as a governing body.